we'll guide you through how to directly back up your iPhone to an external hard drive in Windows. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, you need to go and open up your file explorer. And what you need to do is go over to the left and click on this PC. And then you need to go and make sure your hard drive is attached where you want to go and back up your iPhone 2 and go and double click on it. Then what you need to do is go and make a folder. So right click and hover over new and click on folder. And what you want to do is go and name this mobile sync. So you type that in M O B I L E S Y N C all one phrase like so with a capital S. Then what you want to do is go and double click into that just like so. Now keep this file explorer open and what you then want to do is go to the bottom of your computer and click on search and you want to go now type in mobile sync like this and then what you want to do is go and click on this here and this is going to take you to your actual iTunes backup. As you can see at the top here you can go and see the path and I like to go and search for it that way because this is just a way to go and get the actual path for it. Now you should have two file explorers, one where your backups are currently going on your computer and then your other file explorer on your hard drive where you want the backups to be. And then what you need to do is go down to the bottom, click on search and type in terminal just like this and open it up. Type in mklink, all one phrase like so slash j like that put in speech marks just like that now what you need to do is go to the file explorer which is currently in the backups folder which is on your computer go to the file explorer which is currently in the mobile sync folder which is on your computer and then we need to go into the backup folder just like this and then what we need to do is go and copy this directory so go and click on it like this and then right click on it and press copy and then what you want to do is go and press back in the top right and what you now need to do is if you've already got a backup folder in here, either delete it or go and move it somewhere else if you want to keep the backups. For me, I'm just going to go and drag it into my documents folder like so because we need this to be empty and not another folder called backup basically. And then go to the top like so and this will give you the directory. Right click on it and press copy and come back to command prompt and then go and right click like so. And now what we need to do is go and put another backslash and type in backup just like so and then go and put speech marks again. And then you need to go to the other file explorer, which is on your hard drive. That's this one here for me. And we need to go and copy the directory. So click on it just like so, and then right click on it and we can go and press copy. Then come back to command prompt and you need to go and enter uh, a speech mark and then right click again and put another speech mark. Then go and press enter just like so. And it will then go and say junction created. So this basically goes and makes a link. So now when something goes to this folder, it's then gonna be moved or put instantly into your hard drive. So now you can come to iTunes and click on your device in the top left and come to summary, scroll down to backups and then go and click on backup now. Your iPhone is now gonna go and start backing up, but the backup is going to be directly to your hard drive. And just to show you that this is working now, when I go to the file explorer, which has got my hard drive open, as you can see, here it is, the backup is now appearing here. It's that simple. So if you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.